If you're going to do that, we have the cutest decoration for your table. Uh, the ladies at Bouchard's, a great flower shop in the Green Bay area, are going to show us how to take a coffee pot and turn it into a great centerpiece. Hi, Amy. Today we're going to talk a little bit about some ideas for a coffee party or a tea party. If you are having some friends or some relatives over for um, an afternoon of coffee and you want some ideas on how to decorate the table or give it some atmosphere throughout your home, we have some great ideas for you. So the first thing we're going to show you is an arrangement that we have already made and we've actually put it in kind of a ceramic teapot or a coffee pot. And we have it on a decorative um, runner here, which could be anything from a tablecloth or a runner you might have on a coffee table in your, in your foyer or your living room. Tamara put some hydrangeas in here. We've got some green hypericum berries, and then we accented it with some red ranunculus and some yellow sweet, um, sweetheart roses, just to give it some beautiful color. She then just put in this green ribbon that we have, and the purpose of doing that was just to bring out the green in the tablecloth um, and maybe add some accents around it. We did prop it up on a vase. Actually, all we did was we took this wonderful vase and tipped it upside down just to give it a little bit of height on the table. So if you want to set stuff around it, you definitely can. Just going to lean the lid to the coffee pot up there. And then the other thing we have for the table are these cute little napkin ring holders. Now, the unique thing about those napkin ring holders is they're a vase. So... I've got one that is already done here, and Tamara's just going to take a few minutes and stick some flowers in the rest of those. And again, we're going to just use these as some additional decoration around the table. And we're going to complement it with the same color tones and the same flowers that we have in the center arrangement. So not only do you have the arrangement at the center of your table, you can also take some of these cute little napkin ring holders and use those to bring color all the way around the table. Now, we're not quite done yet because obviously when you have friends and relatives over, there's always um, more tables set out. Make sure you have enough room. So one of the things that we thought was real fun was to take some of these square vases and I'm actually going to fill them up with some coffee beans. Some whole coffee beans. And they smell fabulous. You like the smell of coffee. You could use just a regular pillar candle also in here and just work around it. Oh, they smell wonderful. And then the main piece is this pillar candle we have in the gathering base. Throw some coffee beans around that. Candle here. And fill it as full as you'd like it. Last thing that I'm going to do for this piece, I'm just going to take a ribbon. Again, I have that same green color going on, kind of a celadon green. I'm just going to wrap it around that container. And the whole purpose of doing this is just to try and bring in some of that green color. So I'm going to coordinate that color tone because it matches my tablecloth. Ties here. And then these can be other little pieces that you can set at the same table um, or you can separate these, maybe put one in the restroom or one on the stove and maybe one on another table or another room just to bring that whole coffee idea throughout your home and the areas that your friends and family will be gathering for their coffee and tea party.